Hi Pisces, welcome to your week ahead reading for April 12th through April 18th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, including the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Baccarat Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out and show her some love. This is intended to be an all-encompassing reading, so whatever shows up is what gets read. Um, it's not only going to be romantic. It could be work. It could be money. It could be, you know, home. So whatever is featuring here is what gets read. All right, Pisces. What does Pisces week look like? These are, these are cumbersome to shuffle. <laughs> Pisces. Knight of Swords, that could be Aquarius. Hierophant, that could be Taurus. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands, that could be Aries. Magician, Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. It doesn't have to be any of those. It's just worth noting. Um, and this could be, these could be male or female. So, yeah. All right. Okay, Pisces, what's going on here? Good for you, good for you. This one jumped. The hanged man, good for you because you're not you're not getting involved in that again, but what is it? Is it the job or is it a person? You're, it, it seems like your focus is on money. It seems like your focus is on what's in front of you, moving towards it and maintaining this security that you have that you wanna preserve. So, is that why it's easier for you to walk out or walk away from any romantic involvement with anyone now? It feels like somebody's kind of asked you to take a leap of faith on them again and you're considering it. But I don't know if is it again or is it just a new guy, new girl, and you're like, mm, let's wait till all this Rona Geddon business is over. So are you putting something on hold with potential? Or are you putting it on hold because you're like, no, like never no. Like, I appreciate the effort, and it makes me feel vindicated, but no. I'll listen to you to get the apology out, but then no. So which is it? Is it somebody new that you're like, let's wait? Or is it somebody that you want to hear them say it, and then you're going to turn it down? What's this here fan about? Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. What's this Queen of Pentacles about? Could be Capricorn. This Queen of Pentacles. Good. Ten of Cups, yay. I'd like to see that. What's this? Seven of Pentacles. What's this Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Wands. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Not messing around. What's this Ten of... Ten of Wheel. What's Wheel of Fortune about? Queen of Wands. What's this Queen of Wands? This is Two of Cups with this Queen of Wands. It would be Aries. Okay. Yeah, your focus is, look at this. Your focus is on um, wanting to do what is needed to navigate and manage incoming money. You don't want, you don't, you're not comfortable with the unknown or feeling like it could be in jeopardy. So that's where all of your resources are. Um, focusing on right now. This is about work. This is about money. This is about making decisions on the fly as they come up um, and preserving that workflow, which means income flow. Um, for some of you, this could be navigating changes that are coming up with your at-home business or if you're like independent contractor, or whatever. You're thinking on the fly and managing changes and managing this new landscape business-wise and financially because of Rona Geddon. So that impacts you, but you're able to manage it. Romance is kind of not really a focus. It's you're not losing any ground on that and you're not, um, you're, you're not losing any ground in the romantic area and you're standing your ground. You're quite content with the way things have fallen out, which is to say you're the one looking back at this person or this scenario. You're not really focusing on whoever just reached out to you. Somebody just kind of reached back out or is showing interest and you're not messing, you're not dealing with it. So what's this magician about? This magician. Seven of Pentacles again. So 
this is all about um, you making that money you figuring out new ways how to shift a platform to where it's still accessible to customers or working from home this is you shifting your work and your business to accommodate the changing scenery um, maybe you're if you're working for an employer this is about them still compensating you while you work from home and figuring out how to get you working from home this is all about oh hi my cat just this <laughs> he's like okay i get it um this is all about you managing and focusing on that. You are walking away from somebody, though, just so you know. You're not, you're kind of staying the course. Um, but I, I don't know if it's, because there's not real strong emotion one way or the other. So either you're not letting it be known how you feel to them, which could be because you're like, let's just kind of wait and see, you know, let's just, mm -hmm. because your focus is elsewhere. What do you want? Good gracious. Quite chatty. Or you're kind of done with somebody and you were kind of... No. I think you might have wanted to hear what they had to say, though, just to feel vindicated or validated, but there's not an interest there. You're focused on future and money. So um, even if it is somebody new, you're very comfortable in saying, yeah, not right now. I'm good. I really just need it to be about me. Like there's boundaries here. There's boundaries and preferences that you make known and it's listened to and respected. So all good things and money looks good and job looks good. So even if you got let go, there's still money coming in for the week. Um, it could be that you're thinking on the fly of, okay, got to shift gears or, but it, it shows you managing it. It shows you actively managing money coming in and work being there, the productivity for work being there. This is not you figuring out a way of how to secure something new. This is you navigating a current situation and rolling with the changes and adjusting. So you're good. All right. And the focus like is totally on you and your future money and future work not really dealing with any romantic situations. You're very comfortable leaving it as it stands and just kind of letting someone else kind of figure out what to do with what you said. Not necessarily in a bad way, but just you kind of don't care. You, you didn't, you don't really, you're just not worried about how they feel about what you said. So nothing wrong with it. Good gracious, nothing wrong with that. What do you want? So feisty. <laughs> what else for Pisces? Good gracious, he just came in here and started squawking at me. Okay, mm -hmm. bossy. What else for Pisces? Page of Cups. Uh huh, <laughs> that makes sense because that's you keeping the focus on you and this is being intuitively led. This is in search of what makes you happy, having your feelings be the focus. This is kind of like a new beginning because it's like you're closing out a cycle um, when it comes to how you used to do things and what you used to choose and prefer and how you used to maybe breadcrumb yourself or not prioritize yourself. This is the beginnings of you shifting gears and choosing you, prioritizing you and your own, um, you and yours, you know, and, and having that be the focus. And it's kind of like baby steps, but you're doing it. And there's a big sort of revelation in that you're kind of, it's kind of dawning on you that, you know what, I don't have to make it okay for whatever, th what once was. I, I can say no. And what are they going to do? Tell me yes. What are, what are they going to do? And if they do say, um, yes, what are you going to do? Nothing. So you, there's, there's some kind of shifting of power here. There's some kind of shifting of feeling like, Nobody cares. I could just walk away like or, or just there's there's this realization that there's a lot of power in not caring. Like what would happen if you walked away? What would happen if you didn't? What would happen if you shifted your priorities and said no and let that stand? What are they going to do? What's anybody going to do? You know? Like you need to get over here right now. No. No. 
something else for Pisces. This is that, I, kind, I think that's the epiphany of like realizing, you know what, nobody can make you do anything. New beginnings. <laughs> it's like a baby step, a new beginning. Phoenix from the ashes. Bring, begin your new life. Yes, because you're walking away from something that used to have a tremendous amount of influence, power. You used to like probably have a visceral reaction, like a physical reaction to feeling like you needed to comply or do or obligate or subjugate, whatever. And you're just like, no, it, it doesn't have any hold over me. Like, like, I'm surprised the devil didn't show up because that, that would have, it's like you're breaking the chains. You're just going in a new direction. And it's not as, it's not this big, Hello! like you thought it would be either. It's just all of a sudden, no. And then kind of being like, huh. And then going this way instead of that way. And that's, yeah. <laughs> Hierophant reversed. And then, Hierophant first. Three of Wands reversed. Okay, so breaking that um, cycle. Basically, this is a non starter. There's no forward expansion. There's no trust. There's no foundation anymore for you to base a decision on with future investments. So you have either broken a cycle and said no, one or the other, or both, but this is you not investing in what you once did. This is a new course, a change in direction, a new course. This is new focus and new work towards a new goal and it, you're in control of it. You're creating it as you go. You're figuring it out as you go and it's worth it. It pays off for you. It's the right thing to do. No more of this, what you used to do, uh-uh. And you're, and you're pretty firm on that. It's interesting though. I think you might have expected it to be much more monumental, you know, much more momentous. And it's kind of this quiet sort of strength that just, in a very quiet word, you know, no, I'm out. And the, and, and the silence is like, and that's it. And then that's it. It's like a very quiet storm or a quiet, um, I'm not giving, I'm not doing it justice trying to describe it. So I'll stop. But I think you know what I mean. I think that you're, and you don't know what's going to happen, but you're totally okay with it because you're in creating, you're in creative mode. You're in beginner mind mode. You're, um, you're okay with not knowing because that gives you room to create. You don't want anything scripted. You don't want to walk towards anything set because you're, you've been kind of set free and you're creating on your own in romance, huh? Because that's what you, this feels like you walked away from that, but you're focused on work and money. Anyway, there's a feeling of being vindicated here too. Like I don't need, I don't want a new romance totally focusing on me and mine right now. And, and you're really liking it because there's so much freedom and choice right now. All good things. Okay. All right, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. Um, good for you. This is like you just being really, I was going to say, but I should be nine of cups showing up because you're, you're happy and you're at peace. And there's, you're just like looking squarely to the future and you're excited about it and you're happy. Okay. I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, you have a good week and you stay safe out there. First responders and essential workers, thank you for your service. Um, much love and support to you all and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.